It is time for the grand finale. And for this, I'm actually going to ask you all to please come move toward the front. And you'll understand why I'm asking you that soon, but please just take a minute to come up, come up to the front. Thank you. What you're about to participate in, and participate is the, is the active word here, what you're about to participate in is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity from a team who spent a lot of time putting this effort together, and I can guarantee that you are going to love it. I can guarantee that. I don't make many guarantees, but I'm guaranteeing that now. So, again, this is a participatory piece. It's the final presentation here on the main stage tonight. And immediately after, we're going to do a quick talk show recap on the stage and share the winner of the first challenge for this year's campus party. So I'm going to ask just to test the waters. How's everyone feeling? Is everyone feeling good? Yeah. All right. Is everyone feeling good? Yeah. Okay, I found if you raise the volume of your voice, people respond, respond louder. This is good. So the next gentleman coming to the stage with his team is a pioneer in interactive audiovisual experiences. Now, since his very first sound sampler project in 1995, he's been completely ahead of the game. And now he and his team create hardware and software to bring experiences to life. And tonight, you're going to get a taste of one of those experiences live on this stage. There's going to be more of us joining in just a second, because that's the big announcement coming. My one question before we start is, are you ready? I heard one yes that was like a solid, that was a confident yes in the front. Was that you in the red hat? <laughs> that was you. <laughs> Are you all ready? Yeah. Are you all really ready? Yeah. Okay, excellent. I need you all to put your hands together and give a very warm welcome to Jerome Hoffs, better known as Ebo Man. Give it up. Stoppen. Ik heb problemen met die vloer hier. Eens even kijken hoor. Ja, dat is wel jammer. Ja, even... Hallo allemaal. <laughs> ik ben Jeroen Hofs, Ibu Man. En uh, ik wil je iets uh, laten zien. Uh, techniek die noem ik Augmented Stage. Ik sta nu op een Augmented Stage. Het echte podium, maar daar zien jullie een Augmented Podium. Daarvoor gebruik ik die camera. En er is nogal veel licht hier op de vloer, waardoor die camera een beetje in de war raakt. Ik weet niet of het op de een of andere manier nog iets minder licht op de vloer kan. Ik kijk even snel, geloof ik niet hè? Nee. Uh, wat doen we daar dan even snel aan dan nog? Hmm. Uh, als jullie even heel even geduld hebben, dan bedenk even snel een soort oplossing hier. Mag ik even mijn flight case?
Mag ik dat beeld eventjes zien? Ja. Even kijken of die nou... Is dat... Nee. Ja, maar je... Mag ik even beeld uit? Oké, okay, en de, die ruis is weg, hè, geloof ik. Ja, nou, perfect. Doe het even opnieuw. Kan het, Marcel? La. La. Yo. Sorry. 
Okay. <laughs> Okay, so thank you for coming and thank you for screaming in the camera. I would like to tell you a bit more about my, uh, about, about my work and the history of the interface that I'm using here that I call Augmented Stage. Um, as I said before, I am Jeroen, I, my artist name is uh, Ibu Man. Ibu Man. And, um, I would like to tell you a bit more about uh, the interface and also about the. Nee, sorry, Marcel, even terug. And also about uh, the sensor suit, for example. But first, I will start by telling you uh, a bit about what I brought here with me. Um, I use this 3D camera. It's called the Kinect. Uh, it's normally it's a game uh, controller for the for the Xbox. Here, I'll, I'll bring it. It's here, exactly. And, um, but you can hack the Kinect and then use the information that that camera is uh, uh, making. You can use that to control your own software. So this is a great camera, but what's even more interesting is what's behind that. Because that's the software. We are building this uh, uh, software. Uh, that, you, uh, that enables you to control your entire live show, the music, the visuals, everything. And thanks to the Kinect, um, you have a very intuitive interface for that. And um, so I would like to um, tell a bit more about the history of that. So I... Um, um, oh no. First, I would like to uh, tell you a bit more about this. Hop. So... What I really like about this interface... Uh, can you press play? Oh yeah, then it will start from the beginning. Okay. Very quickly. Yes. Ish. Connect. Cool. Oh. Uh, oh. So we make this out of visual, the, this software to control all the audio visuals of a show. And as an interface, I'm now using the Kinect. And what I really like about the Kinect is that, um, that, um, that there is no really a difference anymore between the art piece. Oh, I thought you have a new play. Okay. Now, there is no difference between the art piece and the interface. When I want to, um, when you want to play with Michael Jackson, you want to distort him, you just walk to Michael Jackson, you grab him, and you start uh, uh, yeah, using him as an interface element. So, um, um, yeah, I really like that. It's a whole different approach of uh, building a live interface. Instead of standing behind your machine, you... Uh, you're able to stand in front of the audience. Um, so I want to show you a bit about the history of that, how I came to that point. Can we switch to the PowerPoint? So, and that goes back a long time. You see me here in 1986. I was 13. And at that time I was making artificial comp of, uh, yeah, music compositions with my tape deck mixing uh, music that I recorded from radio, but I also recorded uh, uh, sounds from videotapes. So I started looking for an instrument that I could use to uh, sample both audio and video. So I bought my first sampler. I could only it's sample it's audio. It's 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 oh yeah, it's geluid uitzetten. Welcome once again. So, um, I was surprised that there wasn't an, in an instrument that I could sample audio and visuals with. So later I bought another sampler, that was my Amiga computer. 
It's the next slide, yes. With that computer, I could do and music and visual. But, but that was uh, 19, uh, 1990, uh, 1989. So um, we had to develop our own video sampler. So that's what you see here. I used an Amiga computer to do the visual. I used a professional audio sampler to do the sound. With MIDI cables, I connected both to a third computer. That computer controlled the audio and the video computer. And in that way, I could trigger live video samples, as you see in the next example. Let's <laughs> in So that was, uh, that was 1995. I used that heap of equipment also for my live performances. So I had three computers on stage, an Amiga, and a computer, a sequencer computer, and audio samplers, videotapes, with all this gear. And there were really nice performances with a lot of energy, uh, beats, and uh, visual. So the crowd was enjoying that, the musicians that I played, were, uh, played with enjoyed that. But I was stuck behind all that gear so I started to, uh, you know, uh, yeah, step on sta uh, step on my table, jumping around to show myself, like, oh, behind that gear. And I noticed that the audience really ap uh, appreciated that. The, appre the audi audience liked it more when I was doing nothing live, but showing myself, hey, hey. oh, <laughs> jumping and uh, going with uh, the same energy as the music. And when I would do something live, trigger the video samples live and stuff, I was hidden behind the gear and the audience, the, the, the energy would go out of the performance. So it was weird. The less I did live, the better the performance was for the audience. So I thought, okay, let's try to change that. It was 90, uh, so in 1999, I went to a hardware store. I bought uh, hinges. This is normally for a door, door hinges and mounted uh, potential meters on them. So the, um, I say that, the, uh, so I could send signals from the hinges to uh, a computer. I mounted those hinges in my uh, armpits and on my elbow. And in that way, I created the suit. It uh, made noise because it was all metal. But in that way, I could transmit. I had these gloves. I put uh, DJ faders between my fingers, buttons on my fingers. I had these floor panels with buttons to select video samples, all with big cables that went into a computer that was in a bag. In that bag was a small computer that we made. A uh, small computer. And that translated all that signals from those potential meters to, of it, from the, uh, to, the, um, to MIDI and sent it then to the computer. And in that way, I could then step behind my computer, control still my art visual show, and play with musicians. So this musician is playing saxophone, and on the back you see me playing John Coltrane. He's playing saxophone, and I'm playing saxophone player. And in that way, we can play together. And uh, so that was like 2000, 1999. Nice performances, very... Uh, yeah, computers were not really ready yet for this kind of uh, video processing, so very f f vulnerable setup. So we started to look into other interfaces, like uh, a MIDI drum kit, skateboard, that I could oh, a really nice way of dropping in a beat, like <laughs> that's a really nice interface, and game controllers for bass lines, or the scratch pen that I really liked. With the scratch pen was the first interface that we developed from a Wacom tablet, that I really had uh, the feeling that I could improvise and that I could really be on the same level as a, a normal musician. So I would do battles with these turntablists. He would do his part. And I would do my part with the pen. And it would be a really nice combination. So that was 2003. So, uh, but the nicest interface was the suit. So we started to update the suit, we used different sensors, no, no hinges anymore, but flex sensors, 
really light sensors. We made it wireless. So um, I would have sensors all over my body, also on my legs, and then wirelessly transmitted to the computer. Really nice. Uh, yeah, you could also play together multi with multiple suits. And um, that's really nice, because then I could really perform. This was also another time. This was 2005, 2004, 5, 6. Computers were better, so I could really step to the crowd and start playing and interacting with the crowd. So, uh, yeah, the next slide is a small example of that. You moet even het geluid hard zetten. So actual video scratching, but then with your body motion. Okay, so what we liked about this is that you can really interact with the audience, sample the audience live, and play with them. So that's what I wanna, would like to do now with you. So I would like to invite 10 people on stage, and the next track we're going to do together. So who's going to help me out? Yeah, great. You and I see people standing up. Yeah, you raise. Yeah, perfect. This is three. You are number four, five. Yeah. So we need five more volunteers. Yeah, please. Six. So yeah, seven, eight, and so we need two more. Who is going to do it? Yeah, nine. And one extra. Yeah, you. Perfect. So we have 10 people. Please come stand here in line. Tough. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I give you uh, simple assignments. Masha is here with the camera. Everything that she uh, films, I can uh, sample the music and the visual. So we're going to start with you. You are going to say boom in the camera. You'll hear a countdown. Four, three, two, one. There's a gap in the music. You say boom. And then immediately you will see yourself back on the screen. So you can then go to your seat. And we move on to you. It goes pretty fast. So you hear a countdown. Four, three, two, one. There's a gap in the music. You say clack. Immediately you will see that over there. So you come back to your seat. And the music continues. And we come to you. You're going to say, la. And we come to you. You're going to say, hey. Then we're going to you. You hear a countdown. Four, three, two, one. There's a gap in the music. And you do, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll do it. OK. <laughs> Super nice. OK, cool. Then we come to you. And you're also going to say, la. Then it's your turn. You're going to do, that's your turn. You're going to say, yo. Yo. <laughs> and you two, you can do what you like. You say, yo, uh, hey, la, yo, your name, uh, whatever. So it goes pretty fast. So please pay attention. Uh, Marcel, are you ready? Marcel is ready. Marcel is ready. You're ready. You're ready. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah you don't sound ready. Are you ready? Okay, cool. Okay, so let's start. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it was really fast. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Oh, was that a boom of a clock? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. What, 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 what happened? Is it knock here? From the camera or what? Camera. I see here the sound. Yeah, my computer is out. Oh, okay. Come not out the computer. Yeah, I see here. Set all is good. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Boom. Okay, 
Is the uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you have uh, one moment? I have to. There's. We don't hear the sound. We see it coming in, but it's not processing. What's up here? Ja hoor. Nee, dat gaat goed. Hij is beweegt. Ja, het ziet er allemaal goed uit. Kan het hier alleen praktiseren? Nee, dit is ook goed. Hmm. Even kijken hoor. Hoppleee. Ik zie hier... Hey. Oké. Okay. Wat is er happening? Want hier... Ah, oké. Okay. Uh, hmm. Moet ik even denken. Zij rood? Nee, dat is ook goed. Uh, die uit, weer aan. Uh, ja, apart. Hebben ze wel die trek aan? Ja. Uh, Oké, okay, I'm sorry. This takes a bit longer than I expected. Hmm. Oké, okay, ik start even. Ik start eventjes Ableton opnieuw op. Want die maakt geen verbinding. Ah, je hebt hier op chapters gedrukt. Oh, is dat het probleem? Ja. Oké. Okay. Nee, ik heb hem nu goed gedrukt daar. Dus dan gaan we deze weer opstarten. Hop, hop. Oké, okay. I think we found the problem. So we should be ready in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ik ga even wait for her. Yes, oké. Okay. En dan gaan we hier naartoe. Dat dacht ik. Perfect. Twee. Ha. Oké. Okay. Uh, ja. Goed. Tik, tik. Oké. Okay. Oké, okay, so that takes a little bit longer than I expected. Is it okay for you to wait one more minute? Is it okay? Is it okay for you to wait one more minute? With the facility uh, thing. I'm sorry. Goed. And hop. Hop. That is the. Yeah. En, oké, okay. hop, hop, in het principe nog 7 minuten, dus ja, dan ga je gewoon door en dan... We doen deze track en dan ronden we het hier gewoon mee af. Wat moest dit ook weer zijn? 768. 768, ja, precies. Cool, en die, en dan die, en die. Nee, daar heb ik geen tijd meer voor. Eén um, of twee. Ja. Yes. Music. Cool, that works. Dan moet die even uit. Dan staat dit goed en dit. Volgens mij zijn we klaar dan toch? Vergeet ik iets? Nee. Hop, hop, gaan we naar drie zitten. Ja, drie. En we zien dit, 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 dit. Oké, okay, ja. Oké. Okay. Oké. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Oké. Okay. We did it. <laughs> Let's go. Please. One, two, three, four. Perfect.
kunnen jullie daar gaan staan. Top. Oké, okay. thank you. Oké, okay, thank you for your attention and your cooperation. Goodbye.